Hello, my lovely learners. You welcome once again to another episode of our virtual lessons. Um, facilitator say Emmanuel, that is the English language. And today we want to talk about is comprehension, comprehension, and then we want to learn reading, reading, and then we want to talk about reading skills, reading skills, yeah, reading skills. The object after the end of the lesson, we want to read. We want to be able to read a passage carefully and answer questions on it. So reading passage, reading passage. You know, for you to read and read well, you have to make sure that you take your time and read. After reading, to try and read again. Okay, try and read again. When you read several times, you understand the passage. Comprehension simply means understanding of what something. So you comprehend, you make sure you understand the passage. Then you can answer the questions that follows. So first of all, let's read. And when we are reading, you take your time and understand some of the words. Eh? Understand some of the words. Okay. I'm reading. Nothing is more destructive of good talk than for one participant to hold the ball too long, like an overzealous football dribbler, playing to the crowd, pity the husband or wife with a garrulous mate, who insists on talking long, past the point where he or she has anything to say. I'm taking the passage again. Taking the passage again. See, the Nothing is more distracting of a good talk than for one participant to hold the ball too long, like an overzealous football dribbler, playing to the crowd. Playing to the crowd. Pity the husband or wife with a garrulous mate. Who insists on talking to sorry talking long past the point where he or she has anything to say? Let's try and understand this passage. This is on short passage. It's just a, we are just reading to answer some questions. Okay, so it's just about reading skills. Let's understand this passage. We are saying that nothing is more distracting. It's just if you with someone who is like you are doing something, then they are disturbing you. Okay, nothing is more distracting. Or someone you are there, and someone is destroy, trying to de destroy your uh, your your attention. Okay, so distracting of good talk than for one participant. One participant means one person participating in what something to hold the ball, holding the ball too long. Someone is only one person is holding the ball and playing, 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 playing. Like an over zeros. You see, over. Over means something more than zero. Zero. Someone who is having the enthusiasm to do something. Enthusiasm. The zero to do something. Huh? Football. Over zeros football dribbler. Someone who is what? Playing and dribbling what? Forward. Moving forward. Dribbler playing to the crowd. And so there is a crowd and even when you are playing. There are a lot of people, yeah? and when you are playing, you are dribbling through. You see what? You are a dribbler, okay? Is it pity the husband? And that one is it pity the husband or wife with a garrulous, not a garrulous, someone who talks too much, who talks what? too much, so a garrulous what? mate who insists on talking long past the point, like <laughs> a garrulous means what? Talkative, right? Someone who talks too much. After talking, he talks, ah, uh, you see that the person is talking. And even past the point that is supposed to end. But when he or she has anything to say, the person has nothing to say, but still talking, talking. So this is the passage. Let's try and answer some questions on the passage. On the basis of reading the above passage, answer the following questions. So let's first of all, one, write one word for the following phrases. When we say phrase, the phrase can be two words, okay? Two words. Uh -huh. The phrase. 
So let's one. Hey, that switch destroys something that destroys. Yes, let's give one word to it. Let's give one word to something that destroys. So that switch destroys. It's just a word. Let's come here. Nothing is more destructive uh, of good talk than for one participant to hold the ball. So nothing is more destructive. So that which destroys is what? Just destructive. So from the word, from the passage, you have to understand the word here. And now one who participates. What does that mean? One who participates. So write one word for the following phrases. This is a phrase, who participates. So one who participates means what? Participant. Okay? Participants. Someone who participates is participant. And now one excessively zeros over zeros. We met in the passage. We met that in the heart. In the passage. And realize that someone who over zeros means what? Someone who is hot, who is having more zero, huh? more zero, enthusiasm over zero. So one word, let's, let's take one word to replace that. One word over, let's three zeros. Uh, okay. So over zero, so we can think of So which word? Let's take it from the passage. Hmm? So we can say the ability or which word again? Enthusiastic or enthusiasm. Hmm? So let's use which one? Enthusiasm. 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 So we can use this one to replace the over. Excessively zeros. Let's move to number two. Use the following in your sentences. So we are going to use this in our sentence. To hold the ball too long. To hold the ball too long. Meaning what? Let, let's, let's just use this in our sentence. We form a sentence with these words. You form a sentence with this word. So I can say, I can say, Amma was asked to hold the ball. Or the player was asked to hold the ball too long. And so let's make a sentence with that. So we say, you can say that the player hold the ball too long. I have used it in my sentence. The player pulled the ball too long. Galulos. You say Galulos means what? Someone who talks too much. So let's use this in our sentence. We can even take it from here, but don't. Try and just write everything the same thing for me. Uh, we can take it from our passage. Uh, so I can say the the husband reads a garulous wife. So fine, this is what the passage and we have used some of the words to form sentence and we have used some to, we have just replaced it with one word. So read the passage carefully and then you will be able to answer the questions that follow. You will get the passage and then also get some uh, questions on it. I want you to pause the video always when you are reading, you are uh, uh, watching and then you will make some notes on the video so that when the question comes you'll be able to answer them carefully love you all love you all i want to stay safe
for us to meet again we will say goodbye for now bye bye